To access our enhanced data, we'll log into PayTrace, scroll down to the account menu, and select Enhanced Data. This page will allow us to enter in information required for Level 3 qualification to send to the card brands. We'll start by inputting our merchant tax ID and whether or not the merchant is tax exempt. Scrolling down on the page, we'll get to our custom product list section. This is where we'll enter in all of the products that our business sells to have the most accurate information to send to the card brands. The fields that are required when adding a new product are product label, product code, commodity code, unit of measure, and cost per unit. Once those are filled in, we'll save that product and we'll get a notification letting us know that that was successful. Scrolling back down on the page, if we do need to adjust or edit any of those products, we'll click on the three dots on the right hand side, click on edit, and then we can adjust those fields that were just created. If we wanted to delete any products, we'll click those same dots, select delete, and it will ask us to confirm the deletion of this product. Now that we've entered in all of our products, we can now prioritize the order of these products. You can do so by clicking on the left-hand side of the product and drag and drop into the order of most commonly sold to least commonly sold products within the organization. This is important to ensure that Paytrace's logic applies the most accurate information to the transactions as possible. Once that's saved, we'll get a notification letting us know that that product priority was successfully updated. And at this point, your enhanced data page is now updated.